Last week, Governor Cuomo announced on April 1st, New York's Major League Baseball teams, the New York Mets, and the New York Yankees can begin the season with spectators in the stadium. This is in response to the sharp drop in COVID hospitalization rates numbers in the past few weeks. Overall, the statewide positivity rate is down to 2.8%, and that is great news. During COVID, Yankee Stadium was used as a vaccination area due to its size. That will no longer be the case. Chris Norwood, executive director of the Ministry of Health, expressed her concerns. We celebrate opening day of baseball and the good things that are happening. But the harsh truth is we're still in the same position. Neither the city or state have done anything to take logical steps to bring down chronic disease. The Bronx being the epicenter of the pandemic, Bronx Knights are calling out the state and city officials on the reopening of Yankee Stadium. Anthony Feliciniano, director of the Commissions on the Public Health System, stated, New York State and New York City have not taken any measures to provide strategies to reduce chronic diseases that can cause deaths from COVID-19. The city and state health departments know this can be done. They, mm -hmm. they just absolutely refuse to focus on chronic disease. New York City had a 356% increase in diabetes deaths in the first surge of the epidemic. That is so shocking and terrible and unnecessary. Mm -hmm. um, and yet they're still not moved to focus on this. With $500 million from the state, mm -hmm. and they would actually, when you, give, when you teach people how to take care of themselves when they mm -hmm. have chronic disease, expensive things like emergency room visits and hospitalizations go down mm -hmm. so much that the state actually gets back its money. If you would like to learn more or even help with the initiative of Health People, you can visit www.helppeople.org. Reporting for Bronx Net, Nirvana Simon.